The Michigan Dogman is one of my favorite cryptids to read about. Many people lump Dogman sightings with Bigfoot sightings, and some people believe that they are two separate entities. A lot of the Dogman sightings do kind of mirror most Bigfoot encounters, but there are some key differences that in my opinion makes them a completely separate creature. The one main difference between Dogman sightings and Bigfoot sightings is that most people say the Dogmen are way more aggressive. Many accounts talk about Dogmen trying to get into the homes where people are, scratching at doors of vehicles, vandalizing property. There was a case in Michigan, I can't remember when, I think it was in the 60s, where a priest actually went to his church and discover claw marks about six and a half feet off the ground as if something was frantically trying to get in. And he said it looked like dog claws. Something else that's very important about the aggressive nature of Dogman is that many people say that they will be chased by Dogman only to a certain point and then seemingly the creature will get away. So it's almost as if it's protecting a certain area, which is key because a lot of Native American legends talk about Bigfoot or even, you know, bipedal canine creatures that would defend certain areas of the forest. So that leads me to ask, could Dogman or Dogmen in general be elemental spirits? A lot of times when you hear people talk about the Wendigo, which is a Native American elemental kind of shape-shifting spirit, a lot of people describe it as almost canine-like, or that seems to be a form a lot of times the Wendigos will take, either dog, wolf, coyote, something like that, but it's canine-related. Now, ever since the, Mon the Lost Tapes episode came out where it was more of like a deer creature, a lot of people do report that. But it is very interesting that an elemental does choose to present itself in a canine form. And that leads me to believe that there could be something to the whole dogman being canine. So what would be very interesting is to look at an area that's high in concentration of dogman encounters and then try to look at the Native American lore of the area or maybe even the Native American history of the place. You know, is this possibly a burial ground? Was there a um, important battle that was fought here? Or was this an important tribe or even a place where shamans would go to do their uh, shaman things, for lack of a better term? So what are your thoughts on dogmen possibly being elemental creatures? Or do you think they're their own physical creature that just happens to be, you know, a bipedal dog? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment below, but from Fife Paranormal... I'm Jake. Leave a like if you enjoy the video. Be sure to subscribe for more, and I hope you all have a good rest of your day.